is Chloe and I'm here with, um, hi it's Chloe, I'm here with Ward Magazine and we're at, actually at a PAMI festival right now and I'm at Arcadia Missa. I'm with Tom and Rosia uh, and we're talking about Arcadia Missa and what they're about. What are you guys about and what are you presenting <laughs> here? Hmm. Um, essentially we're about a kind of collaborative practice that breaks down normal kind of distinctions between artist practice and curational practice and the kind of site of production which is like the studios that we have here and the site of um, display which is the gallery which is on the other side of the wall. Um, so for PAMI we're presenting an archive setup but that is um, based pre predominantly around digital or virtual archives okay. um, and so the presentation is like on the one hand it's fairly open so like people can come in and talk to us and work through well, whichever digital or virtual archive they want to sort of we, mi we might kind of explore with them or they might explore and um, the other hand we've got um, specific uh, uses of an archive, so there's, there's the uh, YBT performance yesterday and then on Saturday there's um, Art Mode of Attention who have used parts of the an archive from Central St. Martins to kind of reconfigure, re yeah, reconfigure and re-understand re like what happened in light of what, um, what you can see as trends or kind of like film history or art history in light of that. Do you feel that um, moving images going towards archi archiving or reassembling these, these, these things, appropriation? Mm. I feel like archives are becoming expanded as um, kind of public institutions essentially are being dismantled. Things like YouTube and yeah. all that. Um, for, for, you know, for political reasons and for just cultural reasons to do with technology. Um, but I also think that there is still a need to understand how to navigate your way through something, how to belong to something, how what to read, how to be a reader, and you know a sense of belonging. And so that the idea of an archive, even if it's not in the traditional sense of having you know tangible artifacts, um, is something that people still are drawn towards. It's there's a want for institution. I noticed that you said the word navigate through an archive earlier on when you're talking about it, and I just wondered what that meant. Okay, well, I mean, I would argue that anyone who uses digital technology is an archivist, and so it's so bound up in an experience rather than just being a sort of like abstract archive that exists kind of like somewhere in the sort of idea of the internet which may be kind of like floating around is very real and so there's it's kind of like based on a t kind of topology that relates to your life I mean it's like someone might show you their Facebook yeah, photos or someone, like, someone so. might show you their kind of like holiday snaps initially like you you'd be able to have the, the kind of document in your hand like the, the kind of six by four photographs and it'd be very related to where they were where they've been now I, I guess they're kind of kind of it's so expanded like everything can be archived like your night out your mu music yeah but so what so, so, like, so the navigation so it, thing but it's, it's kind of like like a virtual safari where it, one can trace back for me. Exactly. I mean, it's like I, I try the word uh, using the word navigate in order to sort of shift it away from something that's abstract to something that's very related to an experience that you have, like a specific moments that, albeit a lot of them may be in front of your computer, it's referenced to specific kind of parts of your life which happen in a place. It's trying to kind of. Um, Shift but isn't that the system. thing about an online archive that it's not in a place? It's yeah, but, it's but somewhere it's that's not. That's, that's not it's still being initiated yeah, yeah. from a place, and it's still being inputted by a person. I mean, I mean what do you mean one. initiated from a place? You know, it's still it's documentation. Okay, for instance, with Facebook, it's documentation of something that has apparently happened in reality, and it may be used <laughs> as a performance of the self online. But someone has gone has used their you know, 
corporal appendages and their time to you know create that and to detag and to you know uh, you know create this image also, also I think it's key, really key to kind of make clear is this idea that um, this sort of virtual archive doesn't exist kind of without input they're all yeah. they're all forms I mean like increasingly like the the kind of performance of this the kind of identity is carried out through forms whereby you have to input information so like blogging Facebook any of these sort of social media sites you have to input information they're kind of like accumulators of data and so that day that kind of com I mean I'll have to kind of qualify this but like it all comes from a certain sort of set of reference. You and so how does that relate to the My Body's a Temple performance? I think the My Body's a Temple performance, when they were, work they were working here, when they were making the kind of, the, well, they were programming their performance in a sense. And to me, because I'm obviously, you know, not as technically capable, they are amazing. They, um, it almost was like they were kind of, they were archiving in a completely um, refreshing sense in the fact that there was no need to catalogue and to stay true to where things had come from. It was a complete, um, it was almost like refiling or reformatting and it was, you know, this, this idea of filing and and um, having a system for where you put components, you know, you go to a supermarket, there's aisles and there's places for things to sit and they were doing exactly that but in a completely new way. It's an exaggerated form as yeah. well, like it's, it's not a benign act when you kind of sit on your computer, it's not a kind of like a thing that just happens. The YBT performance I felt was a kind of exaggerated kind of, you couldn't escape the kind of, the yeah the construct, the tech, I mean the technology and the, the, the output of what was happening, whereas you might tag a photo it's done whatever. Mm. Um, so if you could tag their performance, that, what would you tag it as? <laughs> what hashtags or what tags? Let's get specific. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I. Can. <laughs> um, it's not for me to say because I think the the thing about what we're doing. You create it. The gal I don't want to be like this. Is what is happening here? I, mm. I'd, I'd much rather. Well, that's this part of our collaboration like... is that it becomes open and it becomes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Instead of, I, I think maybe collaboration is the wrong word because it's, everyone uses it's this maybe word. coexistence. Yeah, everyone uses you this know? word collaboration and we've heard it a lot tonight and I don't really have any idea what it actually means now. Like co laboring yeah. means everyone's working to a single point, whereas I think that everyone's working together with a kind of like consensus that something's kind of like. There's uh, agreed the right. terms, but there's different aims. So the range of artists that you have are supposed to be sort of what you were saying, you said earlier, filing. Um, is that what you want the artist to be doing, like a like no, a vis like a, a tangible, like a malleable way of like filing um, online things? Because it's not tangible on the internet, and you're having it here inside yeah. the gallery space. It's not necessarily filing though, because with the screen where you can, oh yeah, with the screen when you can, you know, anyone can come, any viewer, any audience member can come and put whatever they want on the big screen. It's not necessarily filing because that's not documented. It's an ephem ephemeral action, yeah. so it's more about you know inputting something in that moment in and existing within the work and becoming mm -hmm. part of that work. That's very interesting. Could you tell us um, any good websites or <laughs> tumblers or anything that people should check out? Arcadiamissa.com. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have Arcadia like a Tumblr? Tumblr, are you yeah. okay? That's, that's, has that got some interesting things? Yes. Well, thank you very much, and it's been really thank nice you to very talk much. To you. <laughs>